Today we're making a video of the ECM 2.3 motor uh, out of this train unit and we're going to replace it with an Evergreen VS um, using the interface module. On this particular motor you got to use that and it is Wi-Fi too so that's nice we can use our phone app in order to control it. Don't necessarily have to uh, open the door and press the plus or minus buttons we can do it right from our app. So to wire it we're going to take the 16-pin uh, connector directly from our uh, controller, our onboard controller from the unit, connected to our interface. And then we have our low voltage wires behind here. We're gonna bring them down and connect it to all of our other low voltage thermostat wires. Uh, basically the instruction manual will tell you exactly how to do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, then we're gonna take our interface uh, wires and come up to our four pin uh, connector to our motor. We're looking at uh, three tons, 400 CFM per ton, and I did turn the enhanced mode off, so it's not gonna send the variant signal to the, uh, the, the blower. We just want our full speed blower the whole time. It is a single stage unit, so we're using um, actually Y2, which is our yellow wire. We're actually using Y2 on the, the Y signal. Our violet wire would be Y1, which we're not using because we always want it to run in high stage because it is a single stage unit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test airflow and see what we have. Get my iPad and we're going to plug in some power here. Hopefully the Wi-Fi will connect immediately. So connect to device. Let's go over to our toolbox, which we want to allow our network to connect. Updating firmware, of course, and, you know, that's great. So our, our motor is now deciding which way it wants to spin. Just turned it on. Okay. Uh, we've updated the firmware. We're now ready to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the door panel so that way we can get uh, proper CFM readings uh, from our return grills using a flow hood. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we've now updated the firmware. Uh, we're going to change this system to electric stri strip heat, single stage, and we do have a heat pump. Put it down. So there's our setup for this particular unit. We're not going to adjust horsepower. That's another nice feature about this app. Uh, if you buy a one horsepower motor, you can actually adjust the horsepower down uh, to three quarter or half. So next option, this is the way our system is wired just to trying to reconfirm that we have uh, the proper wiring. Looks good to me. Okay, so advanced settings. Okay, dehume profile. We're not doing any dehume profile right now. Uh, right now the airflow is at 85% airspeed, so Right now, we're gonna go ahead and turn the units on and both uh, thermostats, because this is a zoning, unfortunately, it's a single stage unit with zoning. No, I didn't design it, so don't blame me. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take some flow hood measurements and see what we got for the total airflow, and then we can adjust plus or minus from there. Okay, we just tested the flow um, with the uh, filters out right now, and we are getting about uh, 1,235 CFM, so it's three ton unit. We're right on the money with that. Um, we could also uh, select some uh, dehume profiles in order to help dehumidify, but uh, 1235 is uh, pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back to the uh, setup and we're gonna test the electric heat to make sure we're on par with that. But uh, yeah, this thing is pretty easy to set up. Um, You can actually switch the direction on it as well. I mean, it's really easy to change the direction if it, uh, the motor wasn't uh, spinning the correct way. They previously made you buy a, an adapter, <coughs> but like with any three-phase motor, you can just switch two of the leads, so it's not some big complicated thing. So I will end it here. That was a pretty easy setup. It seems complicated, but it's actually really easy, especially with this app.